and everyone would be like, no, we don't want to do this. And I'd be like, get in line. <laughs> We're doing this. Talk about Posey in high school. What was Posey, like, if I just met you in grade nine, what's high school Posey like? Um, so when I was in grade nine, I was a huge dork. When I was in, like, high school in general, I was a huge dork. Um, and, like, I was, like, very, like, do all the extracurriculars and, like, very, like, nice straight-A student. Um, but I remember because like the way my high school worked is we had like three lunch periods and the first one was like 9.30 a.m. or something um, and it was always randomized which one you got and so like I had like that first lunch period on my first day of grade nine and none of my other friends did. So then I, I lived right across the street in high school so then I just went home and ate my lunch by myself because I didn't know anybody else. No. So that's who I was in high school um, and I was in the musical a lot and yeah. <laughs> did you take, did you take a lot of music? Um, I actually never took a music course in high school because when I when I got to high school, I just like thought it would be like cheating to like take a music course because I knew I could do really well. Um, so I took drama instead because I knew that'd be like hard for me. Um, and then after that, because I never started taking music classes, I just like forgot all about it. And so I took stuff like calculus and chemistry and creative writing and yeah. Can you read music? Yeah, so I took um, like Royal Conservatory piano oh, okay. until like grade seven. So I have like some okay. outside music knowledge and then I took singing lessons for like seven or eight years. So were you yeah. like a five-year-old kid singing at your Christmas parties with your family or like? Yeah, yeah, I'm like the oldest on my dad's side. So I was always the one that would like coordinate all of the cousins to like have um, like a concert for everyone at Christmas and everyone would be like, no, we don't want to do this. And I'd be like, get in line, <laughs> we're doing this. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely was that kid, unfortunately. Is there, um, is there a teacher that you came here and you were just like, oh my God, this person is like, made me the musician I am. <laughs> you saw you're like, I have to go see them. Yeah, um, I feel like because I didn't take a music course in high school, like in that way, not really. Um, I had a lot of super gay teachers when I went here, um, but I had one teacher who was ironically my calculus teacher, which is my least favorite subject. Um, and his name was Mr. White. He still teaches here. Nice. And he was the one when I started saying that I was gonna go to school for science instead of like artsy things. He was like, I don't think that's who you are. Like, you don't like have to be this like sciencey person just because you're smart. Like art is like still as valuable as like doing traditional stuff. Um, yeah. I didn't listen to him and I still like did it anyway, but it was it was good advice. Like now that I can have hindsight to it. Have you, have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, I saw him like, hey, yeah. you're right. <laughs> He's the one like when I was in first year university, I came back to high school a couple of times just to like see some teachers and like my brother still went here at the time. Um, so I like updated him and like was like, you are smart. <laughs> I can't keep you away, keep you away, hold on to this truth. I can't keep you away, keep you away. What is the best concert lineup or festival you've been to? Oh, um. The best concert I've ever been to is when I saw Florence and the Machine at Molson Amphitheater last summer, just because she's my favorite artist. Um, but I also was super lucky to see Billy Joel a couple years ago. Wow. I was in like the very last row of the ACC and the people beside me had binoculars. Um, <laughs> but it was amazing. Um, and he like messed up the words to We Didn't Start the Fire. And then he just like stopped the band, stopped everyone, was like, sorry guys, I'm like really old. I like forgot the words, we have to start this again. And I just thought that was so funny. Cause like imagine like stopping the show at like the ACC and being Human. like- It's so, yeah. you wouldn't expect that. Do you have a go-to like drink while you're recording or something? You're just like, that needs to be in the area so I can like get in my zone? Um, 
I always have like tea when I'm recording, uh, just cause like, I feel like I like get stressed because I'll be like, what if like for some reason I can't sing and then like I get sick or something, you know? I always have like lemon ginger tea or sometimes I just like suck on lemons. I don't think like that's really? good for you probably, but that's what I do. <laughs> um, or like throat coat tea. Have you ever had that? Oh yeah, the yeah. Ye it's like yellowy, is that yeah, the one? Yeah, and it has like licorice like, root yeah. in it. Yeah, it feels weird on your voice, but. It makes me feel like I'm being healthy when I drink it though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. helping me sing. Yeah. It's good. You scream for cuz you can't feel your love. What's your like go to I'm feeling in a good mood put on a vinyl record tune? Probably Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Really? Yeah. I always like put that on like I put that on when I like painted my room, when I like moved away from university and like when I'm like cleaning. I feel like that's like, oh, I have to do something like really mundane, but I'm gonna like put this nice music on. Is it, your, is it your theme song? Is there like a posy theme song that you would like to represent like in the posy movie? I don't have this on vinyl, but maybe if it's here, I'll get it. Um, like the record with Mr. Blue Sky by Electric Light Orchestra. Do you know that song? No. Oh yeah, it's a good tune. It's, <laughs> so good. it's like so happy. It used to be my alarm in the morning, but then it like slowly made me hate it because I associated it with like getting up when I didn't want I've, to. I've done that with alarm clocks. And yeah. now I just have the, the strict like song Marimba that's all, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is there one record you're looking at over here that you're just super pumped up about or that speaks to um, you that maybe you know I've it always, or don't? I've always, like, you know how there's some records like Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd and you're like, I have to have this in my collection. Absolutely. That's how I feel about this record. Do you I have have Velvet Underground? No, I don't. Well, I don't. You but might it's need like, it. maybe I'll get it. Yeah. I always see it because it's like usually at record stores, but I'm like, next time. But I feel like you like have to have it. You know? Yeah, that's, well, now I'm looking at the radio head and I'm like, I feel like I should be purchasing a Radiohead record because I, I don't have one in my collection. And there's Pink Floyd speaking of. Yeah, see, like this. This you have to have in I, your collection. I, to I totally have this. I idea. don't have that. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> reveal. Let's do the reveal. You want to go first? No, you go first. I'm going first. Okay, okay, I have chosen OK Computer by Radiohead because Posey has <laughs> clear, clearly made it clear that <laughs> I clearly made it clear. Posey has made it clear that I need some Radiohead knowledge, so this is what I've gone with. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. I would yeah. say it's like the best picture of what Radiohead is. I, th I think right it's a there. good addition to my collection. Yeah. I'm looking you forward to need it. it. What about you? Um, I got Childish Gambino. Um, because I feel like when I buy vinyl, I'm always like, because I grew up like listening to classic rock and like grunge and whatever, I always like think, oh, it's like vinyl. I should buy like Led Zeppelin. And I never think to buy current stuff. Um, but I think that's cool because like, I want to get to a point where I could like have a party and be like, just gonna change the record. And, and then Childish Gambino yeah. comes out. Yeah, no, like, oh. and if I buy stuff that I actually listen to like all the time, then I can do that. Um, cause you know, I listen to lots of different things and sometimes it's hip hop.